is going on everybody welcome back here today to another nba 2k19 free agency prediction video haven't done a mavs rebuild in a minute and it is a kemba walker mavs rebuild also guys this is going to be kind of like the last chance to join my tournament bracket challenge the link is in the description it's free to enter you can do up to 10 entries first place gets 100 bucks second place gets 50 third gets 25 so go check that out link in the description and it's basically a free chance to win money so definitely check that out in the description oh and i've had one person tell me enough times that i should do a taco fall rebuild why do well, now you all are spamming it in the comments so you'll get one not the next rebuild will be the one after next rebuild will be a lebron trading lebron rebuild then i'll do a taco fall rebuild you happy also start today is still broken at least on the ps4 i don't know about xbox so this was simulated from just the start and yeah it's kind of weird Jokic wins mvp this mavericks team goes 17 and 65 because this one player was in the g league the whole year so I think that's why we need to do well. But this is going to be, obviously, a Kemba Walker rebuild. I'm going to sign Kemba Walker. And I'm going to trade Hardaway and Lee because this is a fantasy-style rebuild. So I can somebody will actually take their contracts and we'll move on from that. So, yeah, we went 17-65. and 65. Uh, We obviously have Luka. And we have this guy. I've never heard of him. But he's got a really weird name. I don't know how to stay healthy. But I don't know. He's an 89, but he was in the G League. So he'll be up to a 92. Well, yeah, so this guy... Looks like he'll be pretty good. He's only 23. Uh, we have Luka Doncic. And not really much outside of that. Obviously, we're going to have a topic in the draft. Imagine we add Zion to this team. That could happen in real life. I'm pretty sure currently, what, it's March 20th. They have, I think, the six best odds at the number one pick. And if it gets into the top five, they keep their pick. But it would be kind of lousy if they don't get the six pick. Like, that would be a huge steal for the Hawks. I mean... They got Luke out of it, so it's not like it's a steal, but that would be the best possible scenario for them getting their pick. Or for the Hawks getting the Mavs pick. But I swear to God, if Luka, I don't know how to stay healthy, and they get the number one pick to pair up with those two guys, I will lose my mind. I will lose my mind uh, for obvious reasons. So the Sixers win it all. They beat the Warriors in five. Now, I got to go to Wii meetings. I don't know if they have the... Um, because I want the... Uh, okay, there we go. This is the lottery odds I want. Let's approve that. Let's reject that. So, we're going to advance there. Let's go to the draft lottery now. And let's see. I don't know what... I think we have... Okay, we have the number one odds. Obviously, if we drop to five, we don't get the pick. But if we stay in the top four, we get our pick. And we stay at one... That better happen to the Knicks in real life. I swear if it doesn't. So we have one of the better coaches in the NBA, but 2K just doesn't realize that. And they have him at kind of subpar ratings. But we're going to keep Rick Carlisle for the time being. Uh, we'll pick up Michael Williams and we'll keep Derek Cooper for now. But if we do maybe bad next year, then we can maybe make some decisions. I don't know. So we have the number one pick in the draft. Um, yeah, welcome to the team Zion Williams. Uh, we're going to have Zion at the four, most likely. Um, I don't know how to stay healthy at the five. And then we'll have Luka either at the three or four or three, uh, two or three, depending on what I add. And then at the one, we'll obviously have Kemba Walker. So this is going to be a pretty stacked team. We also have the number one pick in the second round. There's some good guys. Um, somebody, uh, some of you guys actually predicted that I was going to do this rebuild in the comments that it was Kemba. So shout out to you. And some people did say it's Tower Hero, um, not Hero. So I do apologize for that. So I think Jonte Porter is somebody I'm going to pick up. Um, we didn't really get to use him yesterday in the Sixers rebuild. So I'm going to use him kind of here today. At least I don't remember using him that much. Um, so we pick him up out of Missouri. Um, I believe he's related to Michael Porter. No. I don't remember if they are or not. Dwight Powell opts into his deal. So before free agency, um, do I want any of these guys? Oh, um, I do want... I don't know how to stay healthy. So we'll give him the qualifying offer. I forgot he was restricted. So what we're going to do here is we're going to trade some guys. Uh, particularly these three. So we're going to get for Hardaway and Mike Powell. That's 28 mil out there, so I would like to clear cap, so I might have to trade them individually, but Malik Monk's a pretty cool pickup. I actually wouldn't mind Malik Monk, haven't gotten him in a minute. DeMond's a Sabonis I would really like, but we already have our 4 and 5 figured out, so he would just come off the bench. So I'm going to actually pick up Malik Monk, but I don't want Cody Zeller, so can I do this? Hard away for Monk, and i got to throw in a second sweet. Um, and I don't think we're going to get our first next year. I think it conveys to Atlanta, at least in this game. I think they'll be smart enough to do that. Yep. And then, obviously, the year 2021 and 2023 go to the Knicks. So they wouldn't have their first rounders for a while. Or I think the Knicks would get pushed back to 2022. I don't know. It's complicated. So Lee and Powell, I think I can combine to trade. So this means kind of with the Malik Monk edition, Luka will be playing the three for us this year. See, I would really do this if we weren't picking up Kemba. Can I get, like, a good, like, 
I'll take Mitchell Robinson off the bench. But we already have Jonte Porter. Um, Monte Morrison, Will Barton. I would really like Monte Morris. Uh, but I don't want to give up a first round pick. Adams is cool too. Uh, we can get Phoenix's first. Is that Miami's? I kind of want... You know what I'm going to try to do? Because I saw Powell kind of has a couple stars. So can I move Powell to the Heat for their first next year? This would be like robbery. And I'll take... Who's like your worst contract? James Johnson. Why is James Johnson two and a half stars? Uh, who would ever value him that high? Uh, they would want Jalen Brunson in our 2022 first. In the long run, this will work out. So I'm going to actually do this trade. And then we are going to move Deion Waiters um, now. And actually, like, Derek Jones Jr., not a bad pickup. He can actually, like, be in our rotation next year. Um, and I forgot we have Justin Jackson, former Tar Heel. So, come on, just give me a trade. Alonzo Trier. I wouldn't mind Trier. The Nets first round pick next year. Interesting. Um, Monte Morris this time around. He would not be a bad backup point guard. You know, I'll take Morris and Wyden. Uh, we'll clear up cap there. So now we're going to offer Kemba a very expensive deal. Um, uh, do we have enough to sign this guy? He's not interested in negotiating. Well, that's too bad because you're restricted free agent, so you're coming back no matter what. Um, okay, yeah, we'll have enough for Kemba and I don't know how to stay healthy. I think he doesn't want to stay with us because he was in the G League this year for some reason. 2K had him set in there. Um, so we're going to give Kemba a four-year deal. Um, the Nets offered him a deal. I know that's one of the teams he wanted to go to real life when he requested a trade. And, Mike, yeah, I know... Um, some Dallas fans might be triggered. I'm not saying his actual name in this video. He's dead to me. So we are going to sign him, and we're going to match him. Um, and, yeah, so we're going to get, I don't know how to say, healthy back. And we get Kemba Walker. So this team is looking pretty clean. Let me just see the rotation real quick. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, I'm going to move him to center. And his overall doesn't go down. And I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, so we're going to go to training camps here on top of potential. Um... Let's see. Uh, definitely send Zion there. He's already a stud. Uh, we'll send... I don't know how to stay healthy. He'll be up to A-plus potential. And we'll send... Do I want to send Luka? Nah, I'll send Malik Monk over him. See, Luka could be... Um, not Luka. Malik Monk could be something decent. So we're going to have a lot of, like, kind of scoring guys. Like, Malik Monk might fall out of... I don't know. The, like, he might just average, like, 10 points throughout this video. Or maybe wise of me to trade him for, like, a Marcus Smart in the offseason. Or a Roberson. Or somebody like that. That's just kind of defensive-minded. I think Marcus Smart would actually be a really like good position um there so but Malik Monk wouldn't be due for an extension until like not next offseason the one after so it'd be kind of hard matching up salary uh so why do we have Michael Beasley so we're gonna give Jonte 11 Justin Jackson 14 Derek Jones Jr 18 so this is like not the best bench in the world um and then Monte Morris can get 26 uh we're gonna go 34 to I don't know how to stay healthy injuries are off too so he'll be good throughout this video we'll go 34 to Zion 36 to Luca is good with me. 36 there, and then we'll go 31. So first scoring option, hmm, who do I want it to be? We'll make it. I don't know how to stay healthy. Then we'll go Luca. Then we'll go Kemba. Nah, now then we'll go Kemba. Then we'll go Luca. Um, since so Zion's not even gonna be in this top three, system proficiency balance is probably the way to go for this year. And if we go to standings, um, we are gonna be the 12th best team in the NBA. We were the worst last year, so I'll take it. Um, and I'll see you guys at the end of season number one, really. It was 40 and 42. I don't know how. We get Rookie of the Year and Zion, not even a top three scoring option. The dude drops 16 and 10. Um, six minute of the year, I say a whitehead, okay. We get most improved player in Luka. Like, I'll take that. Um, also, I don't know if you guys know who Mike Francesca is. Um, I don't really know much about him. All I know, he's, I'm pretty sure he covers the Yankees. All right, no, no, that's Michael. K. I don't know. He has this radio show. I think it's based in New York. I'm pretty sure it is because I just hear my dad in the car when I was a kid listening to it all the time. We're not a kid just a couple years ago. And the dude was like, I'm pretty sure you guys know who he is. And he was talking about Zion and how he can't defend NBA players, but he kept bringing up Giannis and like Giannis only. And he's like, he can't guard 6'11 guys. He can't. Like, there's no way. And he was just playing off the fact that like, he's only going to be guarding Giannis. Every game of his career is just going to be against the Bucks and against Giannis. I don't know. I was just crying at that. I, I think you guys will know who he is. I don't think he's just like a New York based guy. Like, he's a popular guy, Mike Francesca. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys got, would get a good laugh of that too. If follow Funhouse on Twitter, they just post like, or I don't know who it is, but they just post like clips of his show and it's I, like i don't know how that guy gets paid so much money to just like just be so incompetent when he talks about sports and it's like nobody could change his mind like he might have the most outlandish take ever and he might just be proven wrong but he will never admit he's wrong like never and it's like wow and we didn't make the playoffs so sorry for go, uh sidetracking 
We didn't make the playoffs. We went 40 and 42 with this team. Like, what? How? How did we not? Okay. Um, player stats. Like, what? Kemba. 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 Do we need to have a talk here? 16 and 5. I'm paying you 30 plus a year now. Bro. You're the title thumbnail. I'm going to need you to do a little bit better next year. So, I think we're going to maybe move Derek Jones Jr. or Justin Jackson off the bench. Get a better score off the bench. And kind of... Or maybe move Malik Monk there and try to get like a defensive-minded shooting guard. Like a Marcus Smart. I don't know if we can afford a Marcus Smart. But I'm going to try my best. So, an Atlantic Division team won it last year in the Sixers. This year, it's another one in the Boston Celtics. And Kyrie Irving is your finals MVP. Stayed in... Boston. I mean, Kyrie Irving on this team would be pretty fun, but I don't think Kyrie would come to Dallas. I really don't know where Kyrie's going. As a Knicks fan, I've talked about this before. I'm okay with just getting Kevin Durant. Like, honestly, I'm say the Knicks get Zion. Say in a world they get Zion. I'm okay with them getting Kevin Durant and throwing like a two-year deal at Jimmy Butler with like a like a team-friendly like front loading it and just maybe having a team option or something. Or a one-year deal at Jimmy Butler and trying to contend for a title and having like a DSJ, Jimmy Butler, KD. Zion, Mitchell Robinson, 35. And if the Knicks don't get Zion, say they get RJ Barrett, I'm okay with the DSJ, RJ Barrett, Kevin Durant, and maybe they throw a lot of money at Julius Randle. I'm okay with that. It's like the Knicks really don't need, like, obviously any team can use a Kyrie Irving. It's just like we already have Dennis Smith Jr. and Neil Kina at point. I don't know if we should invest 30 mil at that position if we have other needs kind of at the four or at the two. If we do get Kevin Durant, I'm just saying. So... Kyrie Irving, I think it's either going to be Boston or New York. I don't think he would join the... Like, I don't think the Clippers would sign him. Same reason they have Shea Gilgis. Um, and I don't think he would go to the Lakers. But what do I know? Um, Kyrie changes his mind every 30 seconds of the day. He's like a girl. Um, and, like, I don't know if he would go to some other team like Utah or... Da like, if he doesn't want to hear from the media, go to Utah. But would he go to, like, Dallas... Phoenix would be cool, but would Kyrie ever go to, like, Phoenix? No, I feel like not. Wow, Miami's pick was kind of disappointing, pick 15. Um, can that get me Marcus Smart? Because I don't have any other players to move. Um, proposed trade, 5th pick, 19th pick. How many stars does uh, Marcus Smart have? Um, two. And I'll throw you another first. And I'll throw you a second. And I'll throw you another second. Why do I not have another... Okay, we just gave up our whole capital of draft picks right there, our draft capital for Marcus Smart. Probably not the most wisest option in the world by me, but hey, we're going all in on next year. Luca, you're not coming back. No, nah, I'm kidding, obviously. One, two, three. Jackson, I'll bring back because he might have a star and a half of trade value I could use, and then I could probably package him and Wyden for somebody. Um, like, say hypothetically, I move Wyden and Justin Jackson. Um, what am I looking for? Probably a backup... Uh, what am I looking for? Probably a four, a three or a four. Or Keith at a first. Um, Harry Giles, not really a four. For Reed, you know what? I'm gonna get Kevin Fareed, and then I'm gonna change him to power forward, and I'll come off the bench. Don't tell me what to do, Dual Shock. Um, I don't want to recharge it. Uh, so we're gonna move him to the four. All right. Well, Derek Jones Jr. I'm probably not gonna bring back. R.J. Hunter. Not after what you did to me. And what rebuild was that? Is it the Realistic Nuggets rebuild? Okay. So we have no free agents that I really care for. The best unrestricted free agent is Julius Randle. And he's going to be, what, 24 this offseason? A team should really give him, like, a four-year 100. I would say four-year, like, 90 mil. I would I would honestly be fine giving to Randle. Um, if the Suns got, like, a, um, a John Morant or a Garland in the drift and they have their point guard for the future, I would really like to see him sign there. Or if the Jazz move on from Derek Favors and they want to get younger. Um, even though Derek Favors, I feel like, is, like, the oldest 26-year-old in the NBA Maybe go after Julius Randle or Denver if they decline the Millsap option, especially getting younger there. I would love to see Julius Randle, Jamal Murray, and Jokic kind of how I played off the um, my Nuggets realistic rebuild. And I would be okay with they can go to the Nets would be fun. Him resigning in New Orleans would be cool because they'll probably trade AD. Um, but like, who knows where AD is gonna go? Like, is he gonna? Are they gonna want to trade him to the Lakers? I mean, if the Lakers somehow win the lottery, but I swear to God if that happens. But say like. I don't know, maybe if they get the 8th pick, ninth pick, 10th pick, that's actually still pretty solid. Top 10 pick, plus Lonzo, Ingram, and Kuzma, that's a lot. I don't think the Pebbles would turn that down. But say, I don't know, Ingram, uh, I think he's making a full recovery, but that whole injury was a little scary. But if he doesn't go to the Lakers, or, and if Kyrie leaves, I don't think the Celtics will offer Tatum. And would the 
Knicks offer something, say the Knicks get the second pick in the draft, would they say, all right, take like the second pick, RJ Barrett, basically, take RJ Barrett, Kevin Knox, Trier, and Neil Kina, and one of the Dallas first? I don't know. Would the Knicks be kind of dumb to do that? Uh, if we get KD, I really wouldn't hate that too much, but I don't know. Uh, it, it's a long offseason. I just hope Scott Perry and Steve Mills have their game face on and they know what to do this offseason just get kevin durant and let everything else fall in place that's the one thing just i think any nick fan wants is just get kevin durant and we really don't care what else happens so uh we're gonna have farid getting 14 along with jante monte 20 uh smart's gonna be starting he can get like 27 a night uh we're gonna go 25 to monk um and we're actually gonna go 13 to these two and we'll actually go 12 there uh so we're gonna go 34 34 um 34 36 okay uh, we'll actually go 30 and then 36 all right first scoring option second third all right um let's see our preseason power ranking it is going to be 10th and our system proficiency is balance is the way to go that'll be for me and i'll see you guys at the end of the year and hopefully we can do better than a 40 and 42 season i don't know why Jokic wins all these mvps but i guess he does i mean that's a good stat line but unless they were like a top two seed, then I don't really see why. Also, I forgot to say Anthony Edwards was an all-rookie. Second team in yesterday's video. You guys definitely call me out in the comments for that. We do get Coach of the Year in Rick Carlisle. Shout out to him. Let's see if we get anybody on an all-NBA team. No. Uh, no. We get Zion in his second year, 17 and a half and 11. And we get Luka on all-NBA third team. So shout out to Luka. And are we going to get any other maps? Zion on all-defensive second team. And we are not going to have a rookie. So we are the one seed. Denver was a three seed. Okay, I'm surprised, like, let's see. Like, maybe this guy didn't get MVP. I don't know. Um, or maybe somebody on the Rockets, like Harden or Giannis on the other side. Did they have the most wins in the NBA? Um, no, but, yeah, it's whatever. Shout out to Jokic. So we're taking on the eight seed and Timberwolves in round one. They got George Hill, Shake Melton, Wig. Oh, God. Okay, if we lose to them, um, I... I don't know. But, yeah, that Grayson Allen AV pick bet will still be in here whenever I hop into a game. So, here are the stats for this year. Uh, Kemba, I mean, I guess it's like with all these guys on the team, he's not going to drop 24 a game. Points per game, we were sixth. Allowed, we were first. Okay. And point differential, we were first. I guess Zion and I don't know how to stay healthy. He's a really good defensive front court. And we have Marcus Smart in the starting five and then like monte Morris. actually monte Morris isn't like the greatest defender but whatever uh 3-0 and we sweep them give me phoenix i want to face phoenix i want to face somebody new and i end up getting phoenix okay cool phoenix has john moran devin booker josh jackson deandre aiden warren bridges jalen smith um uh, myers Unid, and roko and they have reddick as a reserve i saw we're at 1-0 1-1 okay our first playoff l 2-1 us 3-1 us and can we win in five no, can we win in six? Oh, God, no. Why are we going to a game seven? Oh, are we really going to blow a 3 1 lead? All right, we're at home. Just win this, please. All right, we're winning. Whew. All right, a little scared there. I don't know how to say healthy drops 26. Luca, 25 and 11. Love to see it. Zion with a double double, and we're moving on to the next round. Do you want to see the playoff stats so far? Who's balling out? Who's not? Um, so, I don't know how to say healthy. He's killing it. Uh, Kemba, doing well. Also, Luca doing Luca stuff, and then there's Zion, Monk, Smart, Fareed, etc. So we're taking on the Pels now. They got Davis, Nazir Little, Drew Holiday, Chuck Diallo, Zubots. They don't have Randall anymore. I'm actually kind of curious to see where Randall signed. Um, if I go to All NBA Players, Power Forwards, he signed with the Milwaukee Bucks. Him and Giannis is scary. So where did uh, Middleton end up signing? Because no way they were able to bring him back. He signed in Philly. And then Bledsoe, did he stay in? Yeah, he was in Milwaukee. Did they get Brogdon back as well? Damn, okay. So they basically just traded Middleton for Randall. That's kind of sweet. So game one against the Pels, we win. Game two, we win. Game three, we lost. Game four, we win. And game five, can we pull off the five-game series win? And we do. And we're going on to the NBA Finals to take on the Philadelphia 76ers. Who got Jaden or Jalen? Um, wow, so they were able to keep the number one pick because, or no, they were bad enough to get the number one pick, or they maybe had someone else's pick. But they have Jalen McDaniels, who's very good, or Jaden, excuse me, Tobias, Embiid, Simmons, and Middleton. Oh, that's a good team. They beat us in game one by seven, and we were at home. Game two, we win, big win. We won by seven. Luka drops 40 and 10. 
Damn, Zion almost had a triple-double. Game three, big win there on the road. Uh, Luka with almost a triple-double. Zion with the double-double. Game four, we lose. Uh, game five, we win. All right, game six. Okay, my camera's about to die, but I have a backup battery this time. But I want to maybe hop into this game first. All right, it looks like it's going to be close. Or no, it looks like we're going to be winning, and I'll see you guys in the game. All right, so we're in the game. Kind of going to win the NBA Finals. I'll probably end up doing another year, like a third season, seeing if we can repeat. 27-5 and five for I don't know how to stay healthy. Um, good stuff from him. That is a weird name, though. Like, I wonder why would a parent name his son I don't know how to, and then stay healthy as a last name. Maybe that's like serbian maybe latvian i don't know but who lives in latvia i don't think there's any nba players in latvia um if we're being honest uh so we're up by 15 here Jaden mcdaniels pulls up from downtown okay i didn't know he could pop him like that um cuts it within 12 uh so we got zion i don't get to use vuka a lot the vuka fell out and was just not in the game for some reason all right zion with the screen uh or i don't know how to sell through with the screen and zion misses the layup good stuff there zion uh, he's got 23 though Damn, bad foul by me. All right, so we got Luca back in. Kemba's got 14 and 7. Luca's got 15, 8, and 8. I like never use Luca because I don't usually do that many Mavs rebuilds, I guess. Um, and when I play now on mine, I don't really use the Mavs because I don't know how to stay healthy. He's out in real life, and the rest of their team is pretty garbage. Like, nobody wants to use Tim Hardaway Jr. Um, or, I mean, like, Jalen Brunson's cool and all, but you know what I mean. All right, good D there. Uh, let's kick it up to Luca Zan. Cut or pull up for three. Damn, that was how he hit that anyway. Ooh, okay, that was a really like poor shot selection. Uh, it was really contested, but he knocks it down anyway, so I'll take it. So it's going to be nice to give Kemba a ring. Um, everybody else is pretty young on this team. And there goes Zion. And be knocked down both. Um, all right, so Smart's in the game. Kick it up to... Ooh, they're going to be pressing. Luka, step back. Ooh, I kind of wanted to shoot that. All right, and beat on... I don't know how to stay healthy. Ready? Dirk style. Dirk style. Oh, that would have been nice. Uh, but he's got 27 and 7. Okay, almost a steal there. Uh, Zaire Smith. Or Zaire. Uh, damn it, Luka. Good play there by McDaniels. He's killing it. Cal, I gotta take a shot with Kemba, dude. I forgot he's the title and thumbnail of this video. I, I should have probably titled this, I don't know how to stay healthy. Kemba joins, I don't know how to stay healthy. Because I feel like I've said that name so many times. Beautiful pass by Kemba. And he finds Fareed with the Manimal Slam. Remember when back in 20... Jeez, 14? 13? Maybe it was 12. I don't remember when Fareed was really drafted, but I remember the Knicks were trying to trade Shumpert for him. But I also remember the Knicks were trying to trade Shumpert for Lowry, and I think the Knicks declined it. This was when Lowry, Lowry was a rocket, and he really wasn't that good yet. Like, when he went to Toronto was really when he just, like, broke out. It took him a while. Like, people don't know, people don't know like, Conley really wasn't good until his, like, fourth, fifth year. Um, Lowry really wasn't good until, like, his fourth, fifth, sixth year, maybe. Uh get a foul there we're up by 10 finals mvp i'm gonna say it's gonna be zion so finals mvp is zion williamson 20 and 14 with 6.3 assists in that uh nba finals so i'm gonna do another year we're gonna try to go for the repeat and i don't really know we don't have that many holes on this team we don't have any draft picks so uh who has our first the knicks do at pick 30 staff signing carlisle okay we're good so let's go to the draft and let's figure out what we're doing. Uh, trade finder. Don't really want to move anybody else. I did resign Monte Morris to an extension. So let's obviously go past the draft. We don't have any draft picks. So really not worth going through. Um, Zion and Luka. Yes, please. Imagine those two on the same team. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just can't imagine Bleacher Report in Sports Center or ESPN. No, no, no. That can never happen just for that reason. That cannot happen just for Twitter reason. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I... Just imagine that. Just imagine Luca and Zion on the same team. And imagine they... Oh, I'm going to stop talking about that. All right. So do I have to sign anybody or are we chilling? Um, Malik Monk's a restricted deal. So, wow, he wants a max deal. Not worth it whatsoever. But uh, let's sign him to that. Oh, Porter. Oh, we had a couple free agents. Damn. All right. Um, Porter and Farid are free agents. Because Porter was a second round pick. So we don't have bird rights on him. Um, where's Jante at? He sometimes will actually allow me to sign him. I don't remember his overall. Was it like 78? There he is. Uh, so let's offer him that. Hopefully he accepts our deal and it looks like he will. And, or, wait, did I just get him back? Did it just re the rights on him? I hate 2K. Like, why would it do that? No, no, we got him back anyway. I don't know. Um, and then for Reed, we're probably not going to get back. So let's go to affordable stuff. 
Um, we could probably use our middle of exception. Terrence Ross would be fun, but I think I'm going to use it on Farid, bring back the core on a three-year deal, and I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, so on top of 10 show, we're going to send oh, Zion, keep trying to get him into the 90s, trying to get as many as possible. I don't think Kevin's going to regress. Um, we'll send Monk there, see if he can get like 286, and we'll send... Jonte Porter, see if we can get into the 80s. Farid is regressing. Farid's only going to get like 10 minutes a night or something like that. So, we're going to try to repeat. Let's see the rotation. Monk won't be starting. It's going to be smart again because that clearly worked out better for us. Uh, Farid is not even going to get minutes according to the auto whatever sim coach thing that decides the minutes. 15. We're going to go 20. 26. 34. 34. 36, 34, and we'll go 30, and then one up going 35. So this game's same scoring options. I'll see you guys at the end of the year, and hopefully we can repeat. Are we gonna be the number one team? Now we're number five. All right, so we go 54 and 28. I think that's three less wins than last year. So we're gonna obviously try to go for the repeat. Zion on already or already gets on Bay first team. Pretty fire stuff there. Did we get another map? You know Luke is making it. So yeah, Luke on on Bay third, Zion on all defensive first, and that is probably going to be it. So we are the one seed again, taking on the Warriors in round one. Interesting. Um, Curry, Dante DiVincenzo. Uh, sure, it kind of looks like Clay. Nah, not really. Uh, KD, Draymond. Okay, they still have a good team. They actually might upset us. Uh, player stats. Here they are. Anybody wants to see or anybody was curious. Uh, Zion, 11 and a half rebounds. They let the team an assist. Luka. Kemba had 4.7. Unbelievable. Uh, points per game, sixth. Allowed first and point differential. First, I mean, we're second in point differential. I mean, we Kemba really isn't, like, known for really assists. Like, what's his career high? 5.6. 6.1. So, it is what it is. So, let's get into the playoffs. So, round one against the Warriors. Hopefully, they don't beat us. But I wouldn't be surprised because just, that's how 2K functions. We're up 2-1. to one. 3 to 1, and we went in 5. All right, now taking on the Phoenix Suns here in round 2. We beat them in the conference finals last year. We are down 2 0. Aw, oh, man. When, there goes our repeat. I haven't repeated in so long. Please go 3 3. Well, that sucks. All right, well, there goes my repeat chance. Um, so, yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, definitely check out the link in the description to my bracket. Um, and what is going to be, um, the first place gets 100, second gets 50, third gets 25. Free to join, you can do 10 entries. Link in the description. I'll probably make it my pinned comment as well. We used to be lost to the team that won it all in the finals. Um, tomorrow, um, next rebuild will be trading LeBron Lakers. And then I'll do the Taco Fall rebuild after that because you guys are so annoying with it. Like Taco Fall, he's just some like 7'6 guy at UCF that might not even get drafted. I don't know why he's so obsessed with it, but sure. I'll do one on like Saturday, you'll see it. Uh, so yeah, that'll be for me. Thank you for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.